everybody. It's me, Ben Dino J. Give me one second, and we're going to get a roll in here. I just had to finish up something here as usual at the last minute. So let me just get this going, and we're rocking and rolling. We got a few good surprises for you and everything else. You know, Gail might be giving me some directional stuff here, so just bear with me. Okay, I'm almost done. Hang on. Okay. We're rolling, we're rolling, we're rolling. Okay. All right. Give me one second, guys. Okay. Well, I got to change my thing over so anybody says anything. I want to make sure I say hi. <laughs> well, I thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, this is a pumpkin carving special. I hope you guys see me okay. Sorry, I'm trying to deal with lighting. It's a little cool out here, but we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to do my best to show you everything. I got four pumpkins. As you can see, I got some over here. There's two down there, one or more up there, and I got here. We're going to do four different faces. They're not going to be no spectacular carvings or anything like that. It's just simple pumpkin carving stuff to have fun with, you know, so... Don't worry about that. Um, I got just basic tools. I got a little bit of assortment of knives because I'm fussy on what I do. So I got a little assortment of knives. I got a notebook, some notes. We're going to be doing the, the pumpkin seeds with um, butter and also oil. Gail's going to be doing that in between what we're doing here. So and I'll show them to you. We'll bring them back out. You'll see We'll give you, we'll tell you the recipe and, and all of that. Then later I'll post it on Facebook, the recipe and all of that. Not sure how this is going to go on YouTube, but I might have to put it in segments or something like that. But it, this is right now on Twitch and also on um, Facebook. So have fun, kick back, you know, remember, you know, um, like the buttons, all of that, uh, you know, like on Facebook. You know, share, uh, do the subscribe on uh, uh, YouTube and do the follow on on uh, Twitch. You know, it should be at the bottom there. We're having some glitchy problems. Give me one second.
Okay. Keep this sound in mind. When you hear the air horn, maybe you won't hear the air horn. When you hear that air horn, that means I'm just going to do like a semi-commercial break. But like right now, if you go to this link, uh, it deals with, you know, um, buy me a cup of coffee. I just started this, and well, I've been doing it a little bit, but I'm getting more active with it. It's buy me a cup of coffee. It's $5. You know, you buy the cup of coffee. You, you do the $5 for the month. I will put your name here on this post. And people, you know, to celebrate you supporting the cause. But that $5 will be for like, well, in the cumulative for gas, bird seed, supplies, all that stuff. Me living, everything. So keep that in mind. So it's $5. It's $15. If you do $15 worth, then... You do, um, I'll send you a sticker, a Bandana J sticker, which, which is the logo you see up on this side, you know, and your name on the post. And I have a $50 silver bandana club where you'll get a T-shirt, a sticker, and your name on the post for a year for $50. That's for the whole, you know, for a one-year membership, you know. And like I said, all of this goes to support the cause to keep this channel going. Then, if you, you don't want to go there, go to Venmo, which you'll see right here. You know, right there. <laughs> right here. You know, go to Venmo, and you'll see how to donate money here also. So, let me get started. We're going to get rid of all the advertisements now. We're going to get started. You know, you might hear some applause, you know, once she takes the bottom thing away. You know, we'll, you know. I need help, people. Send all the money you can because I need help, as you can see. You know, and thanks for the round of applause. You know, well, maybe we got this pretty. Hey, thank you. Okay, now we're rolling, I guess. I got my stylus in my pocket. She refuses to use these, and it makes it a lot easier, but let me just leave that there. Here. There you go. Okay, now we're going to get started. Okay, I just wanted to show you this first. Uh, you got days yet before Halloween and all that. This was just a simple pumpkin carving thing. It was $1, and I'm going to use it here today to see how it works out, but it's $1 to, at the Dollar Tree, so it should be okay. I've used these. It's basically just a serrated edge knife and a scoop. You know, the scoop I might be questionable about. But I got my big silver one I, I have, and we'll take it from there. But, you know, that, that's the serrated edge. It's kind of child safe. You know, it's not very sharp. So, but and then the scoop, you know, uh, that feels pretty rigid. So it might, it might hold up a little bit. But that's that. Oh, put that down there. Okay. Now, with the first one, I was just going to do a simple, which one is this, by the way? Yes. The pumpkin face. I'm going to sketch one out here for you and take it from there. Wait, i got to find my pencils. There they go. Let me just, I'm going to make it real simple. We're just going to go with simple triangle eyes, triangle nose, and just kind of a squarish mouth. So I'm going to sketch this out kind of like that. You know, I always like to draw them out first. I have a little sketch I already did, so I'm kind of following that so I don't get too confused. And like that. And a tooth in the middle. You know what I mean? So that's like your classic pumpkin shape. You know, which I always like to start off with. I like to do one of those to show people. If you can do that, you can do a lot of the others. So it's basically like that. This is very square in design and, you know, nothing spectacular. You know, that's pretty much going to be the design, you know. Now, I like to sketch it out on a piece of paper. And then I'll go back and sketch it out on the pumpkin. You know what I mean? But let me just get this going here. 
I want to cut the hole in the pumpkin first. You have like kind of a front and back. This is the back is with the dirt on it. You know, that's where it was resting in the dirt or wherever, how it was growing. Very rare I cut on those sides unless I'm making something special. So I'll more or less do it on this side. So I like to like hold it down like that. And I'll use the, the, the flat spot as an advantage to hold it a little bit. See, it'll stay. So I'll do that. Then I'll take my pencils, you know, and I'll sketch it out with pencil. Not really big, you know. That's why you do it with the pencils, you know, at first. But then you could always make adjustments and, and all. I always like to give them one or two teeth. Okay, that's kind of okay. I can make that mouth a lot better, but. What you hear in the rustling, that's my one of my dogs. He's on the lookout for something. I don't know what. But I got it roughly sketched with the pencil. Then I'm gonna go back with a marker and just put it on here again. So I can see where I want to cut. Okay. See, that's kind of how it looked like. Pretty close. I think you guys could see that, you know. So that'd be the pretty much the outcome of it, you know. Now, I like to do that first, and I know where to put my top, you know, because that's kind of important because that's where you're going to light your candle or anything like that. Some people cut a hole in the back. I've done that method. I'm not, I'm neither here nor there with it. I like the classic hole in the top. So what I'm going to do, this is just a simple serrated knife. I've used it a lot of times. I'm going to stick it in. Then just go around slow. You know, you don't got to put a lot of pressure. It's a pumpkin. It's not a tree stump. You know, and now, I've been doing this a little bit, but you could have drew a line on where you want to cut, you know, and just follow your line. See? Kind of like that. And then you take it out. Then there you are. Now, I have a strainer here. So I want to kind of move these now. I didn't dirty them yet. So I'm going to move them right over there. Okay. Then I'm going to need my scoops. This is my other metal scoop, I was saying. But you'll take this, and I don't know if you people have done this before, but you'll do that. Just pull the seeds out. Now, this one is not very seedy at all. Very little bit of seed in it, you know, which... I kind of thought I got these and they felt pretty light, you know, and I said, they're not going to be that seedy. See, now that'd be that. So then what I like to do is I'll take this. No, I might have to use a knife on that one. Just cut that flat. You don't want all these vines hanging in everything. See, just make it flat, you know, so no biggie. I forgot something out here. I forgot a waste bucket for myself. Uh, give me a second to find something. I got a bucket way over there. 
Okay. I'm kind of boxed in. Uh, I don't have a I, I don't have my bucket, so I'll just throw it off to the side. I'll pick it up later. I'm going to put that right there. I thank everybody for tuning in and watching. You know, okay. See, now fit on here like that. Okay, so now here comes the fun part. You got kids or you like to get messy, put your hands in it. You know, I just put my hands right in it and dig them out. You know, Gail's going to rinse these off a little bit better inside. But I'm just going to do the rough pulling them out because I, I like doing that part and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> but I'm going to let Gail finish it up. This is the inside of it, what it'll look like. You know what I mean? For them that never did it. Like I said, this is not a very seeded one. If I bought some of them, they'd be loaded with seeds. Now, these two down here are kind of heavy. So I'm guessing they'll be loaded with seeds, you know. But as you see, that's all you do is just basically rip it out. I rip them out at first. By the time we get done today, you'll have a general knowledge on what to do. Have fun with your kids with it. Don't be afraid to get dirty. You know, well, you won't really get dirty. You get more slimy than dirty. <laughs> now, I'm so used to my big spoon. I'm just going to scrape it around in here. And basically, you're just scraping down the vines inside. I forget the technical words for it, but, you know, just scrape it around. You want, you want to make it kind of hollowed out a little bit. Let me try this spoon thing I bought, see how that did work. I just thought about that. I need a little bit bigger thing for out here. I got to admit, for a dollar, that's not too bad. You know, now, you don't got to get every little piece out, but you want to get as much of it out as you can. Get all the seeds out. That's a that's a, a plus, you know. That's what you really want. You know, get the seeds out. You know, have, you know. Like I said, this first batch of seeds, we're going to make with... Uh, butter, you know, so they're not just oiled, but with butter on it. Okay. I might have still, oh, I've got a few more in there at the bottom, you know. Nope. Almost got them all out, guys, almost got them all out. I know families have been doing this for years. Everybody has their own little methods. And you and your family will come up with little methods, too. I mean, this is just a generality. You know, use my pronunciation. You know, <laughs> yeah. Them that used to watch the Bowery Boys will know how Muggsy used to talk. He, I'm a fan of his, so it's like, yeah, <laughs> have fun with the English language. Can't have fun with much else, so hell, you know. But that's that going there. Okay, as you can see, I got most of it out. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you'll get leave some vine, a little bit of the membranes or vines in there. That's fine. You know, it's not going to hurt nothing. It's not going to hurt nothing. You know, like I said, when you put a light in there and all, they might burn a little bit. This, I know, is clean when I've got this on. So me picking up these pumpkin seeds is not going to kill me at all. I know it's clean. <laughs> you know, okay. I'm going to hand this off to Gail real quick, and then I'm going to cut the front. Here you go. I'm going to feed that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the pulp. Mainly get the pulp off. Yeah. That's the word, pulp. <laughs> I had an epiphany. The word is pulp. <laughs> I don't know how many of you are screaming at the... <laughs> but
phone. It's called pulp. It, it got through finally. <laughs> but you got to have the last. But we got it down, okay? So that's basically it. Now, I'm going to probably stick with my little knife here. You don't have to cut it all in one shot. When you, you near your lines, cut away from the lines and cut toward the lines. That's the trick. You get a lot of people that are trying to cut on the lines. If you're new at it, you're going to panic. Until you've done a few or something, cut them away like this. See, like I'm going to show you the best I can this way. See, my lines are here. I'm going here down toward it. You know, I'm kind of boxing it out. See, like that. And then I'll cut up. See, and they'll come out in smaller pieces, but you'll have a cleaner looking thing. I'll trim closer to the lines. I normally use a, a, a flatter marker than that because uh, on the TV things here, I'm trying to make sure people see it, you know, but like that. And you don't got to make it like it's picture perfect. Once they stay outside and cut in a couple of days, they get so creepy looking. It won't matter. See, now you got it like that and just take your knife and work it in to make the hole more visible, you know, pull from the back and everything else, you know. I like keeping my holes small at first and then making them wider as they go. They, they look better and they burn better that way because as they start to, as you start to putting a candle in it or something, you know, the holes will open up more on their own. So it's easier just to leave it kind of like that, you know. Then I'm going to do the same thing here. You know, and just go down. And I'm going to go across that bottom line. Then go down the other line. Then I made a little triangle come out, you know. And going up. No. Oh, I don't know who's on here talking. Sorry, I you know. Hey, though, how's it going? How's it going? You may, you may eat some of the pulp. Yes, you can eat the pulp. Yeah, I mean, yes, you can. I um, it's none of this is harmful to you. It's all natural. Um, yeah, you can eat the pulp. Um, believe it or not, it's. I know people who make uh, like dog biscuit recipes and stuff like that, mainly for their dogs, and um, uh, helps them with diarrhea and stuff like that. And even for yourself, if you were feeling a little sick or something, you know, yeah. When you're making pretty much uh, pumpkin pie or anything like that, a lot of the stuff in it is the pulp, believe it or not. Oh, she got it cleaned up. This is uh, those who know. This is Wild Olive Gale. You know, though this is Wild Olive. You know, <laughs> we I wasn't watched, expecting to be on here. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you, you gonna do the butter? Yeah. Okay. Um, she handed me this. I don't know where the hell to put it now. I'm just gonna leave it right there. She got most of the pulp off of it. She rinsed them off with water. You know, if you start pulp on, like I said, like you know, they say. It's not going to hurt you at all. You know what I mean? You know, you'll be surprised. Okay, I got kind of two eyes cut out already. I'm just cleaning that one eye up a little bit. Okay. I'm just getting some more of that on the outside done. Okay. Just to show you real quick. I mean, I'm good doing the kind of fast. That's two of the eyes right there done. You know. Here's the butter. Okay. Now, this is just melted butter. Come on, Bucky. And I'm going to throw the seeds in it. And I thought I took a spoon. Yes, I do. I got a little spatula thing. I'm just mixing these around. 
in the melted butter. They say when you make it with the butter, it tastes like popcorn. I'm not sure. I never really tried this way too much. You know, I tried it with spices, hot spices on it, you know, and, you know, but that's that with there. I got my salt here. I like red sea, that pink sea salt. You know, I find it excellent. You know, I mean, it's, I'm not a health nut, as most of you know, but I try to eat wise, you know. Okay, and just putting a, just a touch in there, not a lot, you know. Okay. Now, Gail's going to put this in, uh, well, the toaster oven at 425 for about 15, 20 minutes. You know, no, no, sorry. No, uh, 12 to 15 minutes, you know. So, and I'm just going to, I got a pan here. She's going to use I'm going to take that out. Pop it right there. Put the remember Bugs Bunny when he made the thing that don't they look yummy, yummy? Yeah. <laughs> but there they are with the butter on it. You know. And I'm just gonna spread them out. There's some pulp in there, but I ain't worrying about that. You know. Like I said, that's all edible. Actually. It, when it cooks up, it's crispy. It's kind of cool, you know. Okay, here you go. Keep that spatula and all that. This is a high tech show, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got that going good. I'm gonna put my strainer back there. This is the lid to her thing. And we got there. Okay. We got this side almost done. Now, the nose is the same way. I'm trying to get to the um, uh, mouth part because that's where most people have the problems. And to me, the mouth is the easiest part to do. You know? Because, and as you see, it doesn't take long to make one of these, you know, Doesn't take long at all. Here's a big piece of pulp. <laughs> now, as you see, I did that nose in like two seconds. You know, the mouth, cut it out in sections. Like, I'm going to cut this square here out, cut this out, cut that out. Cut, do it in sections. The easiest way is in sections with all of this. Okay, put one piece out. Now, I plan on doing follow-ups on the pumpkins. So, for those who do watch, you know, you know you'll be able to follow along on Facebook and, and on uh, Twitch and YouTube, the progress of the pumpkins. So... Okay. Oop. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just meditating over here watching what I was doing. You know. Okay. Like I said, I don't worry too much about the black lines because once they're out there in the weather and and you can trim them away just gently, you know, just, you know, put your knife on a little bit of an angle 
and trim them away, you know. But once they're out there and they start curling under, looking all spooky and ghoulish, you'll never see it. You know. And if someone's coming in your yard examining your pumpkins, that that close, they're, they're crazy. <laughs> you know. And as you see, I did the mouth. Okay, so there you go. You got a kind of a, it's not a ghoulish one. I got stuff like, we're going to be doing a couple more, you know, but that's just a simple basic pumpkin, you know, like that. Now you put a candle in that. It's, it's, it's a nice little pumpkin to have on your deck, your window, you know, and it, it'd be cool. Sometimes you'll have to, uh, inside, if you're using a candle, take your scoop and toward the middle, just dig it out so it's kind of flat or not hollow, but a little bevel, just a slight bevel so your candle to sit in. But I don't recommend candles much anymore. You can get the little tea lights and they're great for that. But that's pumpkin number one. That's just a simple, basic, square headed, square mouthed, rectangle eyed pumpkin. You know, okay, that's that one. Now, let me just move that. I'm going to put him up here. We haven't really decided where to go with everybody yet. Okay, that's that one. Now, pumpkin number two. This one should be kind of fun. It's kind of a little sad sacky looking pumpkin, you know. And what we're going to do is we're going to move all this dirt to the side. I forgot to use this thing. I'll use it on the next one, I promise. You know, I'm going to make two eyes kind of on an angle like that. Kind of like ovally. You know, one like that, one like that. Like two oval beams pointing in at the top. Toward the middle, I'm going to make a loop, like a half moon, on each one. I'm not an artist by a long shot. So that's that. I got my sketch here so I didn't goof it up. Okay. And then we're going to give them the typical little triangle nose. And then I'm going to go like the letter Z, you know. Let me get, let me get my cheat sheet a little closer. <laughs> you know, okay. It's going to... Kind of be like a W, you know, I'm going to go, hang on, let me, yeah, I'm going to go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, like that. So he's going to look like, like, like he's stressing, you know, but let me just draw it in the black so you can see it. That's pretty much the way it'll look. Okay? It'd be like a little, like, uh, like spooked out, sad kind of pumpkin type of thing. So that'd be that there, you know? No, that's that. So that's how he's going to look. Okay. So now I got to find out which pumpkin I picked for that. Since I had these pumpkins, I picked out certain ones I thought certain ones would look nice on. Yeah. The worry. That's that one right here. Okay, now this one might have more seeds in it than the other. I'm, I'm just curious. I smell something. I just want to know how she's coming with those. How are they smelling? Okay, they're looking okay? Yeah, she's saying they're looking good. You know, let me get a bowl because they might have more in this one. Okay, this is the back of this one. It had a big indent. You know, well, not a big indent. But it had an indent across it, and uh, that was something the way it was growing next to. 
you can use those to your advantage if you make it something that maybe looks like a pirate is that okay? or something. Yeah, that'll work. You know, you know, a pirate or something like that. So that ought to work pretty good on that. You know, <laughs> you know. Uh, we're broadcasting. I feel like I'm doing like the Three Stooges here. You know, quiet and I'm still I'm broadcasting. You know. But once again, I'm going to hold it down to the flat side because it kind of keeps it from rocking and all of that. That's just methods I like to do. And I'm going to draw the eyes in first with a loop. <laughs> do that way with, with the loop. Go around. Sometimes it's hard to draw over the ripples and everything, but do your best because that's the thing. There's no, there's nothing perfect about these. I'm gonna give them the funny little triangle nose, and then the weird mouth. The mouth is basically like just like an M with a W underneath. That's pretty much it, you know. Or a W with an M, <laughs> you know. And it won't be a wide gap in between it. It's a narrow gap. You know. Wait a minute, I could do that a little bit better, I thought. So. Okay. All right. And then, of course, the top. So I'm going to start with my... I didn't put that in black marker... Just to show you, you could do it with the pencil, you know. Now I'm going to do the top first. That's always the best way to do it. Okay. Yeah, he got maybe about the same. But he's got a heavier husk on. He's thicker walled than the other one. He's thicker walled. So remember, cut your hole, pull these off first, out of the pulp, you know. Then just take your knife and just skim it. So you cut the pulp off and so your top is kind of flat but don't break the stem you know so just be gentle but firm and that's that so you got your top then get those hands in there I thought that might be easier for Gail if I did it this way actually this is like it had less than the other one I used to buy some big, massive pumpkins back in the days. Pumpkins, boy, you can almost crawl in. <laughs> That's one of my tall tales. <laughs> I carved some pumpkins so big they seen them up from the moon. <laughs> it might have been the moon. And I'm not that big at my tall tales. Ah. And what's great about these pumpkins when you do them, you know, uh, pumpkin seeds is great for for men, prostate. You know what I mean? That they were trying to sell prostate medicine. <laughs> but pumpkin seed and all that, the husk, you know, it's, it's, it's good. It's also good for bowel movements. If, if you got piles of something in your stomach, you might not be able to handle it. But... Most of the other stuff, you know, you'll be fine, you know. There you go. Oh, that was just a bunch of pulp. Boom, bah. 
I don't mind throwing it out here in the grass. You know, it's good fertilizer. And that's what you do with your pumpkins when you're done. People go, well, what do I do with them when they're finished? Well, if you know uh, a farmer or someone who farms or does a home garden and they're, oh, I thought that was going to hit my broken down mower. But if you know someone who farms or running a CSA farm, um, make a trade. Say, hey, I got some pumpkins and uh, i like to give them to you for, um, you know, for compost. They make great compost. You know, someone might even want the seeds, you know, if you didn't cook the seeds and have them raw, you know, they'll uh, take the seeds from you, you know, and use it. And you might get some tomatoes next year from someone or anything like that. So they, they, nothing goes to waste in these. I mean, literally nothing should go to waste. Okay, that's about as best I can get that one. Like I said, it's not a picture perfect thing, and that should work. Okay, let me just pick up some of the pulp. You know, that's probably the roughest part. You know, you, guys, you can skate your girlfriends with that shit, pick it up and run after them, say, Ugh, act like it's guts or some shit. <laughs> you know, so. You can have a lot of fun with it, you know. Gail, she don't like stuff like that, so I'll chase her around later with the guts. <laughs> you know. Okay, Bucky, we're going to bring this in. You can go inside, too. You know. To see how all that's going. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. Now, let me find my pencil marks. This is going to be that little worry face one, you know. And doing the eyes is a little tricky because they're going to have that little bubble look in them. Don't be afraid to move the pumpkin around a little bit as you cut. Move it around, work it around. Okay. Go in deep enough. Let me try this thing. Huh? That's not a too bad. It's good for the wide open cutting, but a little bit more narrow end. I don't think so. Eyes on a cause me a little headache here. I haven't made one like this in a long time. Okay, it it's not gonna look right when it's like this. Believe it or not, when you once you get them lit up, you'll see. Now you'll see a lot of changes in it. Then, like I said, it'll look even creepier once you do it. I'm using a little twisting method here just to round my edges, just to make them a little bit more curvy. Okay, that's one eye, you know. Now we do this other eye. Thank you. 
Okay, I got that part out pretty good. And remember, if one eye breaks for some reason, just shift everything over and you got a cyclops. <laughs> so there's no wrong thing. You can systematically make a cyclops, you know. Okay. As you can see, I did those two eyes like that. You know. That's the eyes, you know, so that's pretty cool. It's getting there. It's getting there. You know, now the nose. The last ones are ready. Oh, you got them? Yeah, they're good. Oh, okay. Gail said they are really good. That's what I wrote. Got it. You know. This is the butter ones, how they came out. Okay. Take a couple of pictures of these on the inside. Okay. You know, they're toasty. They're not sticky, you know. They got maybe a tad aroma of popcorn. Yeah. Mmm. They're good. Yeah. They're crispy, too. I think the butter crisps them up better. Yeah. They were in there for about 15 minutes at 425. 15 minutes at 425. I got the other ones ready for you to call. Okay. I'm just going to do these two. Uh, oh, I need the oil. Oh. I'm not putting a lot of oil, just a little bit. You know, just regular canola oil. You can use different oils, but I grew up on canola. <laughs> and, um,. It's good, you know, it's healthy. Both would be healthy for you, not healthier, you know. Just pushing them around just a little bit. Okay. Looks good, Bucky. Bucky and Jake are over here. Watch, I didn't give him nothing. <laughs> They'll get so jealous. One got something and one didn't. Just a little bit of salt. I'm very pleased the butter and what we used was uh, Irish cow butter. You know, uh, you buy it in a grocery store. You know, I don't make my own butter or nothing like that. Okay, and that's that. This just has oil and salt. Okay, back to the carpet. Now, the other two pumpkins, I'm not going to worry about doing the cooking of the um, uh, pumpkin seeds right now because uh, mainly I want to... Uh, get these cut and I was more concerned about showing those, those ways to do pumpkin seeds so so that might be something different for you this year folks doing the pumpkin seeds with the melted butter you know, that was very good. I'll have to admit, it was very good. My rectangle nose kind of got messed up. But that's okay. Maybe that's why he's worrying. <laughs> He 
if you want to come in a little bit can you make it come on squeeze in there let me let this dog in we're gonna have technical difficulty here go see what gail's doing don't worry we're rolling we're rolling i was just checking on something okay so all is looking good now the nose didn't come out quite right, but like I said, I don't fret those things because that might be why he has a he's worried because he needs a nose job or something. So now I'm gonna take like I said, the mouth be like a W and an M. So Oh, that pushed in better than I thought it would. Okay, I'm, I'm through everything. I was trying to. I'm almost there. Well, that broke a little bit there. But this was the mouthpiece after I got it out. See? <laughs> so that was the mouth. <laughs> Let me just tie you up here a little bit. Okay. That's a pretty good little semi scary pumpkin. How oh, you like that, huh? You like you're gonna cry, you know? Okay. Chunks in here. Okay, he looks good. Okay. See? He's kind of spooky. He got his little top on. So that's number two. That's number two. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. He's going to make my mean face one. Get that one going. Now, I'll post these on Facebook, the pictures of these and the little sketch I did and all. So, 
you'll see it. You know what I mean? So if anybody wants to do them or try to do them, have fun. You know, just have fun. You know, it's not a rocket science. It's just when you're trying to find your pen it is. Now, we're going to do pretty much the same eyes, but I'm going to do them in the opposite direction. They're going to be pointing downward. You know, with the little hub going around, you know, going downward with the little hub and going down. And I'm just going to do two round circles for, for the nose, two small round circles. Then the top is just going to be the big smile, just a line. And then underneath, we're going to come down and do jaggedy teeth. I might do less or more. Kind of like that. So. It's not a bit. It's pretty much almost like that design. But things are in the opposite. And it makes a whole different face. Pretty much like that, see? And it makes it like a mean face, you know? So that's as simple as it is, you know? If you could do that one, you could do another one. <laughs> you know, so we got that. Let me just put this over here. I picked him because he was a little bit taller for it, you know? The more angle you put on the eyes and all, the more spookier he'll look. Plus, he, he looks like a spookier punk. He's a little bit more... Jaggedy. I, I I don't use many of the ones that are super jaggedy or or bumpy. You know, very rare. I do ones like that unless I have an idea of one I want to do like that. But then here's his flat spot. He still has his dirt on there. I just leave it on there. You know what I mean? And then I'm gonna put him on the on the flat part. Like I said, that's the self made holder for it. And I got a bowl here for him, you know, so I'm thinking this one might have more, so, but we got him, and I'm going to draw his eyes first, Now, I've done ones that had eyebrows and all of that stuff, and, you know, they're cool, don't get me wrong. I want to make a big smile. Okay, he looks, he's going to be spooky, woo, you know, okay, now the top, I'm going to maybe try this knife, since the other one, they take good on the other one, huh, this little dollar set, I'm kind of impressed about, so far, Then you got the pole. Like I said, you know someone who's running a farm, you know, and you can ask them, say, hey, man, I got some pumpkins. You want them for your garden to make mulch? You know, most guys can never have too much mulch, you know. And uh, they'll say, hey, remember me when you grow tomatoes? You know, you want tomatoes? I used to make deals like that with people. You know what I mean? That that was me, you know. I said, hey, thanks a lot. You know, I'll tell you what. You know, when uh, I got tomatoes or cucumbers coming in, you know, I'll give you some, you know. You can never eat it all, people, when you get them, when they're growing. We used to grow um, 
uh, cherry tomatoes, you know, or they were jelly bean type. And man, when they came in, you couldn't eat them fast enough. You got more than enough to go around for everybody. So, I mean, don't even worry about it, you know. I mean, if someone don't want to give you something, hey, whatever then, you know. Don't give them the pumpkins. <laughs> I mean, but you'd be surprised. A lot of guys will work with you, you know. You're not asking for a ton or nothing like that, you know. Plus, when guys plant, if you got a, a guys who like to grow like I do and all, they're always growing more than what they can use anyway. And they're looking to give it away, you know. Some go to markets and do it, you know. Some go give it to family, you know. Then even with family, you run out of family members that want it, you know, because they're like, oh, I still got everything still, you know. So, you know, you'd be surprised. You know, if, the, if their stuff grows in and it grows in good, they got more than enough to give out without worrying about it. Not unless it don't come in, you know, for some reason with drought or something. But nine times out of ten, they have more than enough. This had some thick pulp in this one. Woo! I hope everybody's enjoying this. Sorry if I'm not shouting out names, but like I said, I know Doe Show is on there. Thank you very much. I like his show a lot. I watch him all the time. And I like popping him on and I'll watch. Uh, those don't, that don't know him, go on in and check out his show. Support a lot of these guys out there, man. They're working hard. I mean, they're doing stuff, you know, uh, teaching you stuff and showing you what's taking part in different parts of the country. I mean, you'd be surprised, you know. He has little bird feeder shows on and all of this, and it's pretty it's pretty cool. Oh, I hit my mower with that. <laughs> I win a cupid doll. <laughs> like even myself, you know, it's you know, we just do the show, you know. But you know, people get mad at some of us for stuff and hey, grow up, man. You know, ain't no, you know. What am I going to say? Someone don't like what I'm saying or doing? Hey, that, that's good for you. I ain't going to sit at home and cry about you. You know? Here you go. Oh, yeah. Went on strike. Oh. Go in there. Hey, you. Fuck you, Jake. Go in. Go back in there. Go in. Because I have him out of the way. But I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm trying to get done before the sun goes down. But, yeah, you know. We all try out here. We're all out here trying to make a living, trying to do stuff. So have some fun. You don't like something someone's doing, don't watch them. You don't got to stand there and cuss at the person. What the hell is that proving? Shit. You know, there's a lot of shows I see out there I don't like. I just change the channel. But going back to this, he has a good show, uh, shows you different things, gives you a point of view, you know. So, hey, can't, you can't knock that, you know. There's a couple other ones I like on the Twitch and all that that are the same way, you know. I'm one of my cats. Now, I know I was telling you folks, cut it out in sections and all. And you don't see me doing that. I've done a lot of pumpkins and I've done a lot of woodworking, you know. And um, so I'm semi-comfortable, <laughs> you know, in uh, skills 
Jesus has granted me to cut pumpkins, you know. So, I mean, it's not no show-off trick or nothing like that. It's just I've done this a few times and, you know, and just getting in there doing it, I'm kind of used to it. Now, there's a set of eyes. Look at those. That's going to look creepy. Look at those. You know, like, whoa, you know. Now, the nose is going to be two round holes. So what I'm just going to do is stick my knife in there and keep twisting it. Kind of like a drill. Just take your time. I don't know if I can do it with this one. See how that came out? See that? It's just a matter of just twisting it in there. Here's the ones in oil. Okay. These are the oiled ones. Look a lot like the other ones. But they're not as dark, but it might be. But these are the ones in oil with just a little bit of salt. Mm. The butter ones are better. Yeah. We'll make the rest with the butter. Mm -hmm. That's how those look. You took pictures of the butter ones? Yeah. You can take some pictures of those, too. Okay. Just remember which is which. Yeah. Fuck you, Jake. Come on. Get in here. Let me get the cat food. Here. I got you. Well, wait. Yeah, I was gonna. Who is it? You got her. Just hold her like that. Yeah. Ready? Come on, in, 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 in. Keep the cat company. We got guests. <laughs> Cats are a pain in my kazoo. But as you see, I'm just giving it a twist. And there you go. See that? I mean, they're pretty even. Like I said, not, nothing is. You don't got to make it picture perfect unless you want it picture perfect. So I can't find my marks. There they go. Okay. Now that I got one shot, but bam, 
gritei. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's good. Now I'm just going to clean them up here a little bit. There you go. That's a good look at that. Now that little sucker's going to be scary. He's going to be a scary little pumpkin. How do you like that one, huh? Like I said, I'm not no skilled artist or none. It's just basic stuff, you know. There it looks with the lid. Okay, now my last one will be a tad tricky because it's kind of a little bit like a cat face, you know. And I've done one of these before, and it glue glowed, rather glowed. It's going to English language, Jason. It glowed very nice, you know. Now, not by a long shot, you know. I'm telling anybody, you know, like me, I'm Masonic. That's my religion and all that. Yeah, I like cutting pumpkins. Do I do a lot with Halloween anymore? No. I don't have no kids, but if I did, I would explain it to them. You know, um, it's a fun thing. It's for me. I always like cutting pumpkins, you know, and um, I always will. You know, I'm not going to go and pray to them later or nothing like that. You know, I'm not looking to chase away evil spirits. My cats always come back. <laughs> you know, so it's it's nothing like that. You know, to me, it's a fun thing. You know, you don't have to put scary faces. You know, like I said, I did a jack o' lantern and I did these. Uh, I just like making them funny. I just like funny faces on them. That's just me. You know. Okay, now this will be the cat face I would do. It's basically everything I've been doing. You know, I'm gonna make triangle kind of thing for the ears, the eyes with the half moons, a triangle nose, narrow slits. You're gonna cut, but just with your knife, like make, so they more or less glow more. But you're going to go all the way in, but you don't got to make them wide, make them thin. And then instead of teeth, you're making fangs, you know, like I did on the other ones. So it'll come out like that. I did one of these years ago, and it came out. It looked awesome when it was lit up, you know, and I'm going to try doing another one today, you know. So it should come out really good. These should all look fantastic and a lot of fun. We're going to put tea lights in them a little later on, and you'll see them lit up i'll come back live for all of that yeah i mean i'll come back live you know i want to give gail some of this stuff out of my way here you know here's this gail. okay all right okay here we go. I'm, I'm going to sketch that one out first. Like I said, so as a recap, people, what do we do? I like putting the flat side down. But see, this one also has an, an interesting dent. And if you want to like, do, like I said, make something with a scary scar or dent or no, that's great for stuff like that. I don't do much with those like that. But put it down. You got your pretty much a nice straight side there, even though that side looks better. Hmm. I'll stay with that. I'll stay with that side. All right. Put my ears first. Now, they sell all these kits out there for making pumpkins, you know, with the, uh, like, just removing the flesh part, you know, the outer skin. Yeah, those are nice. I, I don't really like them that much. Yeah, I mean, they look pretty, but I believe cut into it, make the pumpkin, you know. If you're going to make a pumpkin, make a pumpkin, you know. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, that ought to come out pretty cool. There. I didn't need all these knives there, so I'm going to hand that stuff back to Bill. He can put those away. I'll put them on the side. Here you go. You can just put these on the stove. Okay. Over the top. One more second. We'll do those other butter ones when I get done. Here. Okay. This ought to be a lot of fun, this one. Then I'm going to do my top. I'm going to blow my top. <laughs> you know. Okay. Be a few hours before the sun fully goes down. But I might even get some deer out here tonight cutting these pumpkins. I just thought about that. They're going to smell this. I don't really have that many wild hogs. Thank God for that. Or I'll be. Fighting them off with clubs, you know. But they just pumpkin and didn't have a lot of seed. And if you like just carving pumpkins, you've got no use for the seed. Like I said, see if there's a farmer who wants them. Just take them out and leave them raw. Just leave them the way you take them out the pumpkin. You know, let them, they'll know what to do with them. And if you have some kids, your, your own kids, save the seeds on the side. Make sure they don't get wet or nothing. Now, if you do them in the spring, you're going to have pumpkins real early, which is okay, because then you're going to start more seeds. But <laughs> you grow your pumpkins and, and let them experience it. You know, they grow on a vine. The vines will be very long. So if, if you don't have uh, room, you might want them to grow up something. You know what I mean? So, I mean, but the vines will get long. Then if you just want to grow a, a pumpkin and see how big you can get it to grow, once, that, once you see a pumpkin forming, then about two or three feet past it, Cut the vine so it doesn't keep growing the vine. You know what I mean? You just want that vine up to your pumpkin so all the nourishment stop there. You know what I mean? And just see how big it'll grow, you know? Um, some can get pretty big, you know? But you can have fun doing that. Uh, you'll get male and female flowers. You'll tell the female flowers easily because at the end of this female where the flower ends going to the vine you'll see a little itty bitty pumpkin that would be the pumpkin you want to fertilize now um if you want to make sure it gets fertilized take a little brush or q-tip swab and self-pollinate it yourself from off one of the male flowers that has the semen and, and all that in it. you know the little, the, the other stems in it you know, you'll, you'll, you'll look it up on Google, you know, <laughs> you know, but 
you can do that and um, pollinate it, and that will grow. You are assured to grow. You know, here's this. And that's the last of the seeds. Okay, you can just leave them all over there, clean or whatever. You know. Okie dokie. So, I mean, that's something, you know, if you want to maybe consider doing and have fun with with your kids, that's a great way to learn farming and all of that. Because you'll be surprised, you know, how much uh, you can learn just from growing a pumpkin or any plant. You know, I mean, you'll get a good wealth of experience out of it and have a lot of fun at the same time, you know. Okay. All right. Don't mind me now if I don't talk much carving this one because I want to stay semi-focused. But like I said, it's got all basically the tricks that I did here all incorporated kind of in this one. You know what I mean? So this was like the edge of, end of the road type deal. <laughs> all Dry the handle off. Make sure you work safely also with your knives. You know, this is pretty decent to use. You know, better than I expected. It's good for cutting circles. Easy to maneuver. All right. That's my dog. Okay. I did the ears and the and the eyes there, as you see. Okay.
Come on, go up. Come on, go this way. Go, go, go. Come on. Go. Go, go, go. Boy. Happy now? There's the mouth. I got the mouth cut out. Ooh. Okay. Let me just clean that up a little bit. Okay. Okay, I got his fangs in. That same principle, same way I've been doing it. Now, like I said, the whiskers, you just want to cut them kind of narrow. That's all I did so far with the whiskers. See, they're nothing special. Just too long, get you know, cut and a cut right above it, like a little bit, and just gently clean them out. And then you got your whiskers. And believe me, they'll glow when they glow. Okay. He ought to glow very nicely. Okay. What do you think? See the whiskers in the eyes. So that's pretty good. And we put his top back on him. Ta da! That's how he looks. And there you are, folks. <laughs> I mean, I only used, well, 
I actually used more of this little set I got from Dollar Tree. It was dollar twenty-five. I gotta admit, it worked very good. Held up very good. No complaints there. I'll hang on to that. You know what I mean? Uh, did everything else? You know, they look great right here. I'm gonna. I don't know if I can show you. I'll take pictures. I'll take pictures and put them on Facebook, and then shortly I'll uh uh I'll be putting the can and the lights in them. You may try one with a light and see what it does. Let me see what it does. Bear with me one second. You got the lights. They're just a plastic little tea light. Has a little post pull tab in it. And they flicker, so It's hard to tell now with the light, you know, but if they don't light that good, I'm going to get candles then. So bear with me, but when I have a flashlight, I can pop in them too if I have to, but that's just, it's hard to tell with the lights with these things, but that's them. And I have two that, um, supposed to change color, so I might even swap them around here kind of fast and show that too, you know, but I thank everybody for watching. I thank everybody for everything, you know, please like and, and, and subscribe and follow, follow me on Facebook, Twitch and YouTube. You know, I appreciate it. You know, um, like I said, I have fun places where you can send, uh, want to donate that that's helpful. I appreciate that. You know what I mean? Um, this is what it's all about in life. But I thank you. This is the thing right here. The uh, Buy me a cup of coffee, like I was saying earlier. You know, it might have been a commercial announcement, but I try to get the word out. But some people don't like to stay and hear things, you know. But, you know, you're trying to show a show and do get promoted out there. It gets kind of rough. But the buy a cup of coffee thing is pretty cool. Uh, like I said, you buy the coffee, I'll put your name on the post for a month. You know, if you do the one month, you buy three coffees, I'll send you a sticker and plus put your name on, on the post, you know. And then if you buy it for a year, you'll get a Bandana J t-shirt with the small logo on the front, the big logo on the back. You know, you'll get that for free, uh, plus the sticker, plus your name on the poll. <laughs> you know, so we try real hard. You know, we're not just saying donate money the hell of it you know uh, on venmo if you want to do more you know um uh donate and i will contact you to try to send you something on venmo you know what i mean or maybe give you the same deal you know what i mean depending on what it is you know what i mean but this is how we make our finances you know i try to make products and sell them you know i'm not just outright asking you know what i mean same with my wife she does the stuff with the uh wild olive she makes t-shirts and all so if you want to support, you're, you're buying something to support. You're not just saying, here's money and that's it. No, I'm making it worth your while. I try to give you fun, entertaining, entertainment shows. Plus, if you support us, you know, you'll, you'll, get, you'll get items. You know what I mean? So I think that's a fair trade. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm not just out here begging, you know. You do got uh, ones that do that. And, yeah, I, I think that's wrong, too. You could do something to make it worth someone's effort. You know what I mean? As also a thank you. You know, but we appreciate everybody. Um, Saturday, I should be live at an event. You know, that ought to be pretty interesting, especially for you Twitch viewers. Uh, it's supposed to be a geek festival with computer stuff. I've never been to it before, but it's supposed to be uh, all, all of that at the college. So I'm interested in seeing that. So I'm excited about going there. That should be in the morning. Then there's some sort of weird car show. Uh, with German cars in Cookville. Uh, I'm going to try to get to that also. So it might be two different streams. You know what I mean? So uh, keep that in mind. Keep an eye out. You know, I'll try to do stuff. Oh, I'm also on... Uh, uh, what's that thing? Uh, I got to thank Dojo for that one. I'm on it. 
you know, the dope show, uh, Discord, Discord. I'm on Discord. The only other person on it with me is Gail so far. <laughs> but we're on Discord. Uh, I might try to pop something on there so people can see it, you know, and start building up some of that. You know, um, we're working hard on a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? We're working hard. Gail got some uh, postcards out in the mail of her products and all. So, like I said, we're not just out here saying send us money. You know, we're out here selling products and all of that. What are you doing, bro? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here. This dog will carry stuff to the post office. Get out of there. What are you doing? Get get out of here. Come on, get in there. He's finding pulp on the ground eating it. Uh, you might get this dog in a package. If you donate money, I'll send you him. <laughs> yeah, but... Thank you once again, everybody. You guys have a blessed day. Shalom. Have a good one. And we'll be back again.